Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Chrissy from Discovery Collectibles. Um, I'm here with um, two eBay lots that um, auctions that I won, and I have just cut out the return addresses. So I thought we could have a look and actually see what. Because a lot of the time I bid, and you know what it's like. You know, it's late. <laughs> You're tired. And you're just passing a bit of time. So, um, I don't know what one to go for first. We'll go for the back and see what's in this one. So, I've ne I never pay much for these on eBay. Um, it's the postage. It puts it up so much. So, I will generally keep it, you know, around a fiver. Um, plus postage and then you know if it goes up too high it goes up too high although you know a few times if I've seen something and I know for a fact that's good I know how much I can get for it I will go for it Um, the last good one I got from eBay I was actually after this amber ring and a whole load of other stuff and I just knew um, that I could maybe get 30 40 pound for that and there was a few other things I quite liked Um. So I paid £15 for the whole lot and ended up getting a 18 karat brooch, 18 karat gold brooch in it and it was um, 8 grams so you know it was a good earning that day. Really slack and it's wooden panel beads. It's nice, great for a crafter lot though, they could do anything with this. They could paint, they could do some enamel work, they could glue rhinestones they could like this would be a great thing for a crafter so I sometimes do crafting or I used to I used to more um I could see a seam if you see a seam going down the center don't even bother testing it for amber this is all twisted so yeah this was actually one of the things in the lot that I quite liked, in the hope it might have been amber, but it's not. It's actually still really nice though, so I could put it in a bundle with some other funky jewellery. I like the colour, and it is that marbled effect. It is like a good, you know, faux amber, but it definitely has a seam down the centre of each bead. And as usual, my camera's not focusing. Anything close up. But there is, you just need to trust me. There's a seam down each one. So, uh, we'll put that in a lot. And then... This... This is really nice. This is glass. With, I think that's some tiger's eye. Oh no, I'm not going to say this is glass actually, I see no bubbles, so clear quartz. Clear quartz, aventurine, definitely aventurine, and tiger's eye. Ah, oh, I love this. That's good strength left in this one. So, add it to all my other stones and beads. Ooh. Now, these are, so you see amethyst chips, but they're not, look, that's shell. Um, and they're in with another load. If I could find the center of this. There we go. I wouldn't usually resell these, but they are a lovely purple. They've got good strength, and they are all together. So I may, I may keep them together and put them in a bundle. And this is what I saw. I thought it was coral, and I believe it is. I'll need to take a closer look with a nice uh, vintage 
coral twists. Of course. And that's coral. Coral chip. So I've already got a coral chip necklace, but I've actually still not put it online, so I might do the two together if they layer nice together. Let's see if the colours complement each other. And um, here we have Afterthoughts earrings. Honestly, they were <laughs> they were originally four dollars, and then there's a five written over the four. <laughs> oh well. Um. But yeah, there's there's one missing that I can see. Yeah. There's one missing. So unless it's in in there, I will just take that one out and bum the rest in a crafter. This is a very worn, very very worn pendant. Oh, they've got there's photos in it. Look, does that feel wrong? I don't know why it feels so wrong. Look. There's a photo, a man, there's a woman, really old, still shuts. I'm just going to have a wee closer look at that. I mean, I know it's not gold, you can see it's not gold, but I mean, it's really, really worn. But oh my goodness, I can't believe it. That's the first time I've ever found a photograph. In a locket. I've genuinely never found one before. Just have a wee look at that um that mark. If it is a mark, it might just be an indentation. No, oh, it's definitely a mark. It says T and then and Y. T and Y. Doesn't that look like? Oh, look at the scroll work. I can't believe they were photos. I wonder who they were. Can't close it now. There we go. So definitely, I mean, I'll keep it. I, I just don't know what to do with things like that. I, it feels strange. It feels strange that I should even have it. Wow. Bling. Silver tone, oh, massive. It's nice. It's a glass. Black glass. Kind of got that Aurora Borealis going on a little bit. Can't really see it camera. But um yeah, definitely definitely not silver. But it's a nice ring. Then shell. Beads, dyed green shell beads, blue ribbon. Kind of looking at all this, like, why did I buy it? I wouldn't have spent any more than uh, a couple of quid. This is Autographia Primark. But it's nice and it's still got the tag on it, so you know. You know, it's not been worn. And then. This is a wooden and dyed shell with glass, faceted beads, and it is next. <laughs> it's quite nice. Still got plenty of wear left in it. No silver tone is coming off, so yeah, nice. This is nice. It's like a metal seed bead with tiny little glass seed beads and drawstring to tighten it which looks messy and busted so I'll put that in the craft well, this looks like sterling sorry has not even in the camera this looks like sterling that's actually really pretty well have a wee look have a wee look I 
Yeah, it's like got the last two numbers of 925, I can see. Well, I think that is 25. You know what, I have, um, I have this. So if it's not silver, it'll come out that coppery colour. You see, it's kind of coppery colour there and like a, a silver there so you can I'll be able to tell quickly no sterling silver look at that it, and it's chalky as as you do it I mean I could test it with acid but I know myself that that's sterling but I like it oh yes I actually wanted a new ring for this finger so I'm getting bored of this one so. Well, now that's nice. I'll polish that up and and wear that. Although I should really just sell it and try and get my money back for this bag, but I can't help myself. So we have a really seen better days pearl neck, pearl earring, big pearl, full pearl, and. No markings on the butterfly back. So no. And then there's the match for it. And again, you can already see how dirty it is. <clears throat> and here we have another full amber. Bead necklace by m &S. Do you see my weakness for amber looking things? Amber, amber, amber. I have amber on my wrist, amber on my finger, amber chipstones here with some jasper. And then I have this around my neck every day. I can't help myself. I don't know why. I have no idea where this love of amber came from. This is nice. This is really heavy. I don't know if they are like, I think they're metal. But the hematite you can get can look the same. Proper hematite. Non magnetic hematite. So, yeah. That's nice so good stretch left in it, good weight. Yep, I like that. Um ah magnetic hematite, which is not hematite. But this is actually quite cool. The peridot, I think, chips and the amethyst. Now Whenever I see the purple and the green like that, I think of the suffragette jewellery. Um, I really like the colours together, but it's hugely popular. Obviously, this is not a suffragette necklace. <laughs> this was not invented then. But these are the colours. I think there's a third colour as well. I can't really remember, but these colours together always re remind me of it. But that's actually really nice. As much as I'm not keen on the magnet, is it magnetite? Something like that. I'm not hundred like hundred percent keen on it. I I genuinely don't mind these things as a wraparound, especially when they're quite cool like that. And you've got genuine gemstones in between, so definitely worth selling. And then here looks really strange beads. They're I don't, they're not plastic. A vintage barrel twist class. I have no idea, absolutely no idea, 
what that could be. Is it just enamel? It sounds like glass. Stress it is. It looks black down the hole. I can't see any white. So it's definitely like well, that's really nice. It's good weight. Can't tell you what it is, but it's nice. Oh, and there's another one. We have two. So strange. And here we have a damascene bracelet. This doesn't look like the the Japanese damascene. I mean, I might be wrong. I've sold the Japanese damascene before and sought after. Um, we usually get, um, you know, the 14k or something down here and it's usually, you know, the mountain scenes in the background. But this is nice. This is nice damascene. But it doesn't even look like the Spanish damascene that I've seen as well. I don't know. No mark, just an indent. Nice, I like it. And gun metal ring with MNS written inside. Nice glass. Oh, and yeah, tiger's eye. So what else did we have that was tiger's eye? Did we have something else? No, must have been another bag I'm thinking of. Nice rhinestone stretch, but not stretch on the some netting on the tin as well. No rhinestones missing that I can see. Oh no. Hope to consume. There's one. Oh well. Craft. Oh look, a third. That one sounds slightly different. They're so bizarre. Next up, this is a souvenir Cuba bracelet. What is terracotta, like terracotta tiles? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's cute. So I'll put that in the craft. Um, some. Soda light. It's a soda light bracelet. Well, that's nice. Soda light chips on a nice black thread, just corded up really nicely. That's nice. We like. Oh, look, there's the other. There's the white. The white one. Put that in there. I'll find it back for it. Um. Uh, another full pearl. Yep. Another full pearl. Put that in there in case. Another one of these with a wee ribbon holding them all together. But yeah. Shells, dyed shells, seed beads. Oops, those other ones. And then here. We have a ring and there's a little mark in there and I think it says m and Marks and Spencers. But it's nice, still got silver tone. So it's nice. Oh no! A Peridot chip necklace. That's really nice. And it's a 95 clasp. Lovely. Like we sold on its own. 
That's nice. So we've got Peridot, and we've got Coral, and we've got a 925 ring. So we've made our money back. It's fine. Everything's fine. And then here. Um, yeah, these look like a real stone. They're not... Yeah, they're real. And I'm not sure what the black ones are. But yeah, that's nice. And then a shell, bracelet, half decent stretch dyed purple. And the other one to the thing. Let's do bits. Another one. So we've matched up these, matched up these. And an infinity symbol on a bright orange string. All the stones are there. Someone might like it. I'm not sure. Not sure about that one. Um, I've had these ones before. They're just that looks like a like mother of pearl almost stone and like a, a hematite kind of stone, but not in precious metal. And then rings, silver tone. Stones are all there. Fine. Just fine additions to, to lots. So yeah, some good pieces. And the ring. So I have, um, I'll wrap this one up and then we'll do the other one just to keep the times of the videos down. Um, but great. Thank you very much. And um, I'll hopefully upload another one soon. Thank you. Bye.